Okay guys, it's Matt here and I'm going to do an upgrade on my Mega Magnus. As you can see, I've already removed all the external screws and I'll be transplanting in this NF Strike 10 kilo spring designed specifically for the Magnus. So, with all the main screws removed, you have to carefully release the slide see how pain, painless that was? straight off, no problem now I've seen a lot of people struggle with this but they don't realise that there's another screw hidden underneath the slide So once that's out, you should, because there's no reason or ability to remove the other half of the slide um, without unscrewing the slide from this side. So this should, in inverted commas, pop apart reasonably easily. That looks like a tab, but I've been informed it's not. Now I can feel where it's catching. It is right here. Okay, so with a little bit of work and a screwdriver, I found out that that is indeed a little tab and lip, unlike Drax's video where it isn't. So if we gently lift the mechanism up, you'll see the two springs here. They're used to push down this lip and they go into these two parts here. And there's your follower and your magazine spring. So, first of all, you'll want to remove the magazine spring and the follower. That comes out quite easily. And this lip here basically drops in and then it just slides into that little hole there and then the front end just drops in. And then you remove that lip and that's that done. And then just tease that over the top of the catch. There's no traditional plunger rod in this system. It's basically a hole where your spring sits. So there we've got our plunger and uh, barrel assembly out. Remember that these two, two notches here, they fit into the little slides there in front of the cap. And then we've got our NF Strike 10 Kilo. And the hardest part is going to be opening it. All right, now that has got quite a bit more heft to it. So, we want that to fit inside the plunger tube. Fit it back over here. And then push the plunger system back. and try and tease it over the catch carefully not like the way I'm doing it and then we need to push the entire plunger system back and into its groove there we go now that is seated, that is now back on the slide and everything appears to be in position. And then we want to carefully reinsert the magazine 
follower or clip follower and make sure it's above the tactical rail uh, to thing and uh, it rests above that and above these rods we need to get this and work in reverse order dropping that back on there making sure those are nicely aligned which they seem to be so then this piece should just pop on and with a little bit of pressure that back part snaps on and all these pieces should reconnect now you've got to be really careful and make sure that the little springs sit in their grooves so there's pressure being put on there by the springs to close the lip I can't think of any other way to describe it but you know what I mean no, slipped out again and for some reason it's not closing at the front and I think that has something to do with the lip actually I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the lip I think it's come out of the cap again uh, where does everything go wrong when I'm videoing things I have no idea. This one? Oh, you know what I've done? Or well, haven't. Let's just hope I can tease this back in without everything exploding on me. Yep, there we go. Ah, uh, well, that wasn't so bad. That is locked in. I've forgotten to put the magazine in. Why was I not? Why did nobody remind me? Now I should just be able to sneak this in without really interfering with anything. As long as I make sure the magazine is the follower isn't nah. This is going to be a case of take it apart again. Drop that in. Make sure the follower is in position. Nope, oh, there goes the tactical tooth. I knew it would happen at some point. Just remember to make sure that the Ring is above where the tactical tooth goes and two little rods at the front. There and there springs in and that screws in. I do keep switching screwdrivers. It's just some of them seem to be slightly different. The, uh, the actual head. I just hope that the lips are in the right position. That's that's my main concern. Okay, that is as tight as it should be. Oh. Slide works, the trigger's okay. I suppose the only way really to test it is to go grab some darts. 
Okay, darts acquired. Here's the moment of truth, and let's hope that I haven't screwed up the magazine. Oh, that's a bit more of a hefty prime. Now, will it feed happily? Or are these... No, that's fine. One round in. All good. Two. Sliding forward a little. And smooshing number three. Ooh, easy now. Right, so, any better? Oh yeah. Now that's got a bit more punch to it. And it's not that hard a prime. And this is a reasonably beefy spring as it is. I'm gonna keep that anyway, because it's a good spring. And I might find another use for it. But I reckon that's probably around a 6K, five, 5 or 6K. So there you go. One working Mega Magnus. Now, with a 10 kilo spring. And I managed to shoot myself. Nice. Okay, so there's been my mud guide to the Mega Magnus. Just make sure these are all tight. While I say, if you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more, then hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom of your screen, as well as the little bell icon, and that will keep you updated of my latest upload and when that is online and available to view so ugh. as i finish tightening this up there we go make sure they're nice and tight they don't want anything wiggling loose but not too tight that i cross thread it or shred the screw port so yeah hit like hit subscribe hit the little bell icon um, I'm in the process of setting my Patreon account so I'll be able to afford some new blasters to actually mod. Um, I do have um, a modulus that I 3D printed a 42mm cage for and I'll be running off a pair of Fang RVs and um, a 2200mAh power 60C 2S battery, um, which fits really snugly inside it. So that'll be, uh, oh, and some Bulldog flywheels, because they're the best, um, and they're British. So, um, yeah, that'll be another mod guide. But uh, as you can see, it functions just the same as it did before, except with a little more power. Thanks for watching. Like I said, hit like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for my latest upload. I've been Matt and this is my new modified Mega Magnus with a 10 kilo spring. Thanks for watching. Stay cool and have fun guys. Bye bye.